Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. It is a honor to be presenter in this fourth international conference on life science and biotechnology 2021. I'm Grace Romarta Samusir as the first author from Bioprocess Engineering Study Program, Faculty of Biotechnology, Dell Institute of Technology. This paper title is Isolation and Identification of Biogas Producing Metanolytic Bacteria from Coal Miner. The most problem facing a biogas production is the length rate of biogas production, which takes two or three months to convert the biomass into methane. This problem isn't proportional, especially for the industry, where the industry prefer fast rate production in order to time efficiency and get greater profits. Therefore, we need to do something to increase the rate of biogas production, such as the adding, the adding of metrogenic bacteria to the biogas production. Biogas itself is a colorless gas, which is a new renewable energy source and is obtained from the aerobic fermentation of organic matter or biomass in a degaster. The objective from this Research first to isolate and obtain methanogenic bacteria from common aerobic degaster, which play a role in biogas production. Second, to identify and characterize methanogenic bacteria in the biogas production from common aerobic degaster. And third, to test the biogas production from common aerobic degaster by adding methanogenic bacteria isolate. There are some methods that use in this research. The first, isolation of methanogenic bacteria. Second, identification of metrogenic bacteria using rump staining and some biochemical tests. Third, the biogas production test with some variation. And last is the data analysis. To be able to know that the co-manure used in this research is from co from cattle farms in Sibarani Nasumpulu village, Lagu Boti, Toba. Metrogenic bacteria were isolated using the test medium, namely thioglycolate medium and it was carried out by incubating the media and isolate in an aerobic chamber at 37 degrees Celsius. From the isolation of bacteria, a single colony was obtained from the aerobic degaster of co-manure. The bacteria obtained on microscopic observation are gram-negative bacteria. This also indicates that the presence of metrogenic bacteria and the anaerobic degaster of Comenure, and this has been proven in the phenotyping test using some biochemical tests. Based on the identification of bacteria in the result of bacterial isolate, metanogenic species have been identified, namely the type of meta, sorry, the type of bacteria metanobacterium species. The graph above showed that the aerobic degaster of Comenio with the addition of 10%, 5%, and 15% of metrogenic bacteria isolates start producing biomass on the third day with an additional volume of 1 milli. In contrast to anaerobic degaster of Comenio without the addition of the bacteria isolate with only start biogas production on the fourth day. It is shown that the addition Addition of metrogenic bacteria isolate has an effect on the production of biogas produce. The addition of a starter can accelerate the bio process of biogas formation in a certain time or shortening the required start up time compared to the treatment with the addition of a starter as a biocatalyst. This also can see uh, the fourth degaster, which is the Version of 15% volume per volume show produce more or most volume, which is 40 milli. In conclusion, first, obtain some of uh, this research, obtain some isolate of metrogenic bacteria that can be isolated from the anaerobic degaster of Cominger. Second, isolated metrogenic bacteria obtained from the anaerobic degaster of Cominger had characteristics such as the genus of metrogenic bacterium species. And third, the addition of 15% volume per volume metrogenic bacteria isolate from the anaerobic degaster of Cominger affect the volume of biogas produce, which was 40 milli. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for all your attention.